Hi friends. I am coming to you tonight with my very first video blog and I'm hoping to do these a couple times a month giving you positive motivations, ideas, tips, tricks on how you can live your best life and how you can thrive in the face of change. And tonight I'm going to discuss five ways you can set priorities in your life so that you can live a life that you love. This all stems from a quote for me from Thoreau. not enough that we are busy, so are ants. What are we busy about is the question. And truly, that's the key. We're all busy, and what are we busy doing? Most of the time, I think most of us can answer that we have room to make some shifts so that more of the things that we deem as important are at the forefront of our lives. So how do we do that? Number one is to stop and take inventory pause, reflect, take a break. If you don't know where to start, you can Google questions like um, reflection questions for 2018 or conducting a life audit for 2018 and you'll get some very deep thought provoking questions where you can sit down, dig deep and really think about what, where your values lie, um, what is important to you, what you want to be spending your time doing. Um, the second tip is uh, to think about the things that you're doing right now. Um, do you spend two hours a night on Facebook? Do you look for a recipe on Pinterest and 45 minutes later you still haven't found the recipe but you're still on Pinterest? Um, are, what are you doing with your time? What are you doing with your free time? So really pay attention and look at your schedule and see what you're doing and if what you're spending your time on truly aligns with your values. Um, thirdly, the urgent things that derail us so often, can they be reorganized, delegated? Can they wait? Some things can't wait, I get that. But some things, if you think about it, some of those urgent things can be delegated. They can be reorganized. Fourth, run a test week. So come up with a plan on how to deal with the things that shift you out of your path and run a test week, see how it goes. What do you have to lose? Um, run a test week with some small changes. And fifth, make room for the important things in your life and make room for them like you do an appointment for your taxes. Make room like you would go visit your child's teacher. Make room like you would for a dental appointment. Put them on your calendar and treat them as sacred, treat them as a priority. Um, treat them as something that is important. You're listening to this for a reason. Our time is very precious and it's no mistake that you're listening to this and we are only 10 days into the new year. If you know me well, you know that I love fresh starts. If you've been to my workshops, I've talked about this before. I love Mondays. I love the start of summer. I love the first day of school. I love... Um, I love new days. I love mornings because they signify a fresh start. And the new year is the ultimate fresh start that we get. We get this 12 month little package handed to us where we can make changes. We can have this be the ultimate fresh start and have things be different. And it doesn't have to be huge. You can make small, very measurable changes. And make, the most important thing though is that you have to make a plan to do that. And it's okay if you're not perfect at it, and it's okay if you do get derailed. What's important is that you don't stay there and that, that you continue on and that you, that you put it on paper and that you're intentional and that you go forward and you move onward. So with that, have a great night and I'll see you soon.